January 6th rioter and QAnon conspiracy theorist Doug Jensen was sentenced to five years in prison today. During the sentencing, an Iowa judge called Jensen a leader in the riots. He was one of the first people to enter the Capitol during the insurrection. Jensen is accused of leading the mob that chased a Capitol police officer during the riots. You may recall Officer Eugene Goodman led the group away from the Senate floor. The QAnon flat follower was convicted on seven counts back in September. He will be transferred to the custody of the U.S. Bureau of Prisons to serve out his sentence. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland joins us now. Scott, welcome. Uh, first, we have to ask, Doug Jensen was called a leader of the riots, but only sentenced to five years in prison. What kind of precedent does that set for the sentencing of other insurrectionists? Now, Michelle and Elaine, what's critical here is that Doug Jensen was convicted at trial of assaulting police. Capitol Officer Eugene Goodman didn't actually lay hands on Goodman, according to the testimony today, but the jury characterized what happened that very iconic moment which he confronts Goodman at the front of that mob as assault. So what we saw was a five-year prison sentence against Doug Jensen. That's in line with the other January 6th assault cases and the sentences that have come down from it. What prosecutors argued here is that Doug Jensen was, in their words, the poster child of the insurrection. The iconic image makes him an iconic face of the 930-plus federal defendants. His case just stands out. And the judge criticized Jensen for any number of things today. First of all, for celebrating what happened January 6th, for emboldening that mob by being the leader at the front lines, but also for not showing remorse. Doug Jensen spoke in court today, asked for leniency, but didn't accept any responsibility or express any remorse for what happened. Didn't disavow QAnon, didn't disavow election lies, and that didn't serve him well. The judge picked up on that and said, I'm not hearing remorse here. You'll get 60 months in federal prison. It's in line with other assault cases, but this case just stands out because in all those images, Elena Michelle, Doug Jensen stood out that day. And Scott, given all of that background that you just laid out, I'm wondering what was the representation from Capitol Police like at the sentencing today? It was noteworthy. Uh, his Eugene Goodman's supervisor, Inspector Tom Lloyd, spoke in court on the Capitol Police Department's behalf, saying if not for what Eugene Goodman did that day, luring the mob away from evacuating U.S. senators, the Capitol Police inspector said there would have been bloodshed that it's likely Doug Jensen wouldn't have walked back out of the Capitol that day. And the police kind of leaned into this argument that the rioters left. They walked out with everything, into, um, with everything still together. And the Capitol police officers by the dozens were injured. D.C. police officers by the dozens were injured and traumatized, partly because Eugene Goodman, if not directly because Eugene Goodman, helped lure the mob away.